Hi, I'm David Cook, uh, Home Inspector, uh, Paragon Inspections. I started off, uh, spent 35 years in actual construction, hands-on, building houses, masonry, contractor, and then over time it became apparent that actual inspection was a way to go for me, and that's what I've been doing for about 10 years and about 4,000 houses I've looked at. Every now and again, I'll come across a house that I take a look at, and this house is impressive. I'm standing in one of those houses right now. When I first looked at the house, it was like many houses, it needed some very serious work. So I did the initial inspection on this house some time ago, and I've been back monitoring the deconstruction and reconstruction of this house multiple times. Some of the structural issues were addressed. It was not just cover up, fix what's on the surface. When construction's in progress, there's such a thing as standards. In this case, watching this house, it's nice to see how standards have been exceeded multiple times, and that is nice. That's the difference between building a house and building a home. With construction, you'll always see the outside of a house. What's very important is what's underneath it, what's supporting things. Some foundation was actually excavated, reinforced beyond what was originally there, and that is going to be very important that supports have been replaced. Actually, steel beams have been put in place rather than a wooden uh, beam and different things. Sometimes when you open walls, when you open up an old house, you are going to get surprises. And that's what was dealt with in this case here, was let's open up, let's remove it, let's make sure that standards are exceeded, and let's rebuild this so that when somebody is living here, they can relax, they're going to enjoy a home because of the work that has gone into this here. So it's not just a cover up, this is a reconstructed right through the foundation on through up. So with the Century Home, the, the standards that they were built to was none. There were no codes, no standards at that time. Anything could be done, anything goes, as long as it stood. When you're restoring something like that, especially to this quality of a building, you need to start with the structural, make sure that the foundation, and then from there on, the rest of the structure, two stories, three stories in this case, are solid so that you're not creating some kind of future problems later. That has been done many times with many houses, and when you take it apart, you find the problems. There are the surprises. In this case, the standards, make sure that those kind of problems aren't going to happen again. So with this construction, you're going to see there's heat ducts underneath windows. When this house was first built, there was a case of usually many areas of a house would have one source of heat. It's so the second floor, maybe one room would have heat. The rest of the house had no heat. So when this house was completely taken apart, the Ductwork was completely redesigned and actually went to the various rooms in the house. And that way you're going to have a warm house, not just one warm room with the rest of the areas freezing. The electrical, that was completely done at the same time there. Although it's no such thing as efficiency with electrical, but the fact that you can go reach in and turn something on or plug something in nearby without running an extension cord or simply have no electricity in a room, those are things that were done to make sure that this house is by today's standards and in many ways exceeding standards. If every house was built to these standards as a home inspector, I'd have a lot less work.